Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 3 directional derivative on unit number 1 vector differentiation. Now our course objective is to study the concept of directional derivative and to find the directional derivative in the given direction. The course outcome you can solve at the end of this lecture you can solve examples on and directional derivative. Now definition of directional derivative is it is defined as uh, the gradient of phi dot a cap. Now directional derivative in short form it is denoted by dt and gradient of phi dot a cap means gradient of phi at given point dot product of a any vector along the direction. Now the normal uh, we have to uh, remember these points the normal to the surface is always cracked by the unit normal vector to the surface is n cap it is denoted by n cap and it is equal to gradient of pi by magnitude of grad pi or del pi then directional derivative is maximum along the normal along the normal means n cap that is and del pi by magnitude of del pi and to the surface and its maximum always magnitude of del pi the unit tangent vector is denoted by it is denoted by t cap or you can denote it by some letter but it is dr by dt divided by magnitude of dr by dt now find directional derivative of phi Find the directional derivative of phi x y square plus y z cube at point 1 minus 1 1 along the vector. Now here we have three point along the vector i plus 2j plus 2k then towards the point 2 1 minus 1 and along the direction normal to the surface x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 9 at 1 2 2. So let us uh, first we have to we want gradient of phi. So gradient of phi it is equal to i times del phi by del x plus j times del phi by del y plus k times del phi by del z as we have discussed in previous lecture. Now we want derivative of phi with respect to x, y, z. So derivative of phi with respect to x it is y square. Then the derivative of phi with respect to y it is 2xy plus z cube. And derivative of z uh, pi with respect to z it is 3yz square. Now substituting this three values in given equation del pi is equal to y square i plus 2xy plus z cube j plus 3yz square k. Now we find uh, it at the point 1 minus 1 1 because point is given here so we want to uh, free this del phi free from x y z. So, substitute x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1. We will get yeah, del pi is uh, at point 1 minus 1, 1 is equal to i minus j minus 3k. Next second point, uh, first point is uh, direction. we want directional derivative in this direction a vector. So a vector is given, find out its a cap vector. a cap is i plus 2j plus 2k divided by its magnitude. So it is one coefficient of i is 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square which is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 4 which is 9 so square root of 9 is 1 by 3 times i plus 2j plus 2k now the, the directional derivative formula is gradient of pi dot a cap so gradient of pi we already find out a cap we already find out now it is 1 by 3 is constant so we take it outside and dot product of two vector means coefficient of i with i plus i with i means 1 into 1 plus minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2 minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 so it is minus 7 by 3 now second point is second point is we want towards the point 2 1 minus 1 towards the point this point but it start from point 1 minus 1 1 so Towards the point 2, 1, minus 1. So we want to find out first uh, line or vector along that direction. So a point is, let us denote a point as 1, minus 1, 1 and second point as b which is 2, 1, minus 1. Now how to find out position of a, b? It is say b vector which is equal to b minus a. b minus a. So we denote a b vector as a. It is equal to b minus a means 2 minus 1i plus 1 minus of minus means 1 plus 1j and minus 1 minus 1 
okay so it is equal to i plus 2j minus 2p next again directional derivative formula is gradient of pi dot a cam so we want we already find out gradient of pi which is i minus j minus 3k and a cap is 1 by 3 times i plus 2j minus 2k which is equal to pi by 3 next third point is it is along the Read it properly along the direction normal to the surface. Now we already discussed normal to the surface is n cap and n cap is gradient of pi by magnitude of red pi. But here equation of surface another surface is given already we have one surface second surface equation is given so we denote it by another letter that is phi 1. 5n is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 you can write or you cannot write. So normal vector means gradient of 5n we want and magnitude of gradient 5n we want. So gradient of 5n is equal to i times del 5n by del x plus j times del 5n by del y plus k times del 5n by del z which is equal to 2xi plus 2yj plus 2z k derivative of this 5n with respect to xyz. So this grad of 5n we want at point 1 to 2 this point is already also given at point 1 2 2 so at point 1 2 2 we find out this grad of 5 1 which is 1 multiplied by 2 which is 2i plus 2 multiplied by 2 4j plus 2 multiplied by 2 4k now unit vector unit normal vector is gradient of 5 1 by magnitude of gradient of 5 1 so it is equal to 1 by 6 times 2i plus 4j plus 4k now directional derivative formula is gradient of pi dot n cap because here direction is along normal so i minus j minus 3k dot product with 1 by 6 times 2i plus 4j plus 4k. So it is 1 by 6 times 2 multiplied by 1, 2 minus 1 multiplied by 4 is minus and minus 3 multiplied by 4 which is minus 1 which is equal to minus 7 by 3. So, so consider second example find directional derivative of phi e to the power 2x into cos yz at point 0 0 0 in the direction of tangent to the curve x is equal to a sin t y is equal to a cos t and z is equal to a t at t is equal to pi by Every time in directional derivative problem, we want to think about the direction of a directional derivative. So here this phi is given. Also we find out gradient of phi at that point 0 0 0. First step is clear. Now second step is, uh, step is along the direction to the tangent. Now what is tangent? Equation of tangent it is dr by dt. So dr by dt means we have to find out, write down first r vector and after that we find out dr by dt. So consider phi e to the power 2x into cos yz. Find out its derivative with respect to x. So it is e to the power 2x derivative is 2 e to the power 2x into cos of yz as it is. Then del phi by del y which is e to the power 2x as it is derivative of cos is minus sine and derivative of yz with respect to y is z. So next del phi by del z is minus y into the power 2x into sin yz. So gradient of phi become del phi by del x i. So this value multiplied by i minus z e to the power 2x into sin yz into j minus y e to the power 2x sin yz into k. Now we want this gradient of phi at point 0, 0, 0. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0. So cos 0 is 1 and e to the power 0 is 1. So it is 2 1. Now sin 0, sin 0, so sin 0 is 0. That's why j and k component we will not get. Only remaining component is 2 i. Now we want tangent vector. So first write down R vector which is xi plus yj plus zk which is a sin ti plus a cos tj plus a tk. Now tangent to this curve is dr by dt. So it is equal to a cos ti minus a sin tj plus a k. Now at point t by 4. So this point is also mentioned. So at point t is equal to pi by 4 dr by dt value is cos of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So it is a by root 2 i minus a sine of pi by 4 is also 1 by root 2. So a by root 2 j plus a k. 
Now we want its unit tangent vector. So unit tangent vector is dr by dt by magnitude of dr by dt. So a by root 2i minus a by root 2j plus ak divided by its square root of a square by root 2 square plus a square by root 2 square plus a square. So it is equal to gradient of i dot t cap which is 2i dot product with this complete t cap vector but we have here only i component so it is i dot i remaining components are zero so r2 multiplied by a by root 2 is root 2 into a divided by a square by 2 plus a square by 2 plus a square is 2 a square that is root 2 a root 2 a by root 2 a it is equal to 1 next we discuss uh, example number 3 Find directional derivative of y, which is a times x plus y plus b times y plus z plus c times x plus z. Has maximum value 12 in the direction parallel to 6 into x minus 1 equal to 3 into y minus 2 equal to 2 into z minus 1. Find values of a, b, c. Now, first again, write down phi. Then, taking derivative of this phi with respect to x, y, z. So, del phi by del x, it is equal to derivative of this a into x plus y is a and derivative of this c into x plus z is c. So, a plus c. Similarly, del phi by del y is a plus b and del phi by del z is b plus c. Substituting this value in gradient of phi. So, it is equal to a plus c into i plus a plus b into j plus b plus c into k. Now, directional derivative is in the direction of line. So, it is given as maximum value 12 and it is in the direction parallel to this line. Now, first of all, we find out direction ratios of this line. So, divide this line by 6. So, x 6 into x minus 1 by 6 is x minus 1 by 1. Then, the y, 3 into y minus 2 by 6 is y minus 2 by 2. 2 and uh, 2 into z minus 1 by 6 is z minus 1 by 3. So, what is the direction ratios of this line? It is 1, 2 and 3. So, direction ratios we got and then we can write direction vector that is a vector. It is i plus 2j plus 2k. So, unit uh, vector along that direction is i plus 2j plus 3k divided by square root of 1 plus 4 plus 9 which is i plus 2j plus 3k divided by root 14. Now, given that directional derivative is maximum in the direction of normal and it has maximum value in the direction of a cap also. So, both the vectors are parallel to each other. So, this n cap is equal to a cap. So, gradient of phi we already find out it is a plus c into i plus a plus b into j plus b plus c into k divided by magnitude of grad phi is given as 12. So, it is divided by 12 that is equal to i plus 2j plus 3k divided by root 14. Now, equating both coefficient of i with i j with j and k with k we get a plus c by 12 is equal to 1 by root 14, a plus b by 12 is equal to 2 by root 14 and d plus c by 12 is equal to 3 by root 14. So, a is equal to 0, b is equal to 24 by root 14 and c is equal to 12 by root 14. So, practice these three examples at home. Thank you.